What was your favorite toy growing up? I loved playing with action figures, especially superheroes like Batman. What was your favorite toy growing up? I loved playing with action figures, especially superheroes like Batman. How did you first come across your favorite toy? My older brother gave it to me as a birthday present when I was around eight years old. How did you first come across your favorite toy? My older brother gave it to me as a birthday present when I was around eight years old. Do you still have your favorite toy from childhood? Unfortunately, no. I lost it during a family move, but the memories are still vivid. Do you still have your favorite toy from childhood? Unfortunately, no. I lost it during a family move, but the memories are still vivid. What made your favorite toy so special to you? It had sentimental value, and the adventures I created with it made my childhood unforgettable. What made your favorite toy so special to you? It had sentimental value, and the adventures I created with it made my childhood unforgettable. Did your friends have similar favorite toys? Yeah, we used to have epic battles between our action figures. It was a blast. Did your friends have similar favorite toys? Yeah, we used to have epic battles between our action figures. It was a blast. How did your favorite toy influence your interests later in life? Playing with action figures sparked my interest in comic books and eventually led to a love for graphic novels. How did your favorite toy influence your interests later in life? Playing with action figures sparked my interest in comic books and eventually led to a love for graphic novels. If you could bring back one childhood toy, which one would it be? Definitely my remote-controlled car. I had so much fun racing it around the neighborhood. If you could bring back one childhood toy, which one would it be? Definitely my remote-controlled car. I had so much fun racing it around the neighborhood. Did you ever customize or modify your favorite toy? Oh, all the time. I used markers and stickers to give my action figures unique looks. Did you ever customize or modify your favorite toy? Oh, all the time. I used markers and stickers to give my action figures unique looks. Were there any specific memories with your favorite toy that stand out? I remember spending hours creating elaborate storylines for my action figures. It was like having my own superhero universe. Were there any specific memories with your favorite toy that stand out? I remember spending hours creating elaborate storylines for my action figures. It was like having my own superhero universe. Did you ever share your favorite toy with your siblings or friends? Yeah, we often traded toys for a day. It was a great way to experience different playsets. Did you ever share your favorite toy with your siblings or friends? Yeah, 
We often traded toys for a day. It was a great way to experience different playsets. What was your favorite toy growing up? My favorite toy was a beautiful porcelain doll that my grandmother gave me. What was your favorite toy growing up? My favorite toy was a beautiful porcelain doll that my grandmother gave me. How did you take care of your favorite toy to keep it in good condition? I kept it in a special display case to protect it from dust. And I was very careful when playing with it. How did you take care of your favorite toy to keep it in good condition? I kept it in a special display case to protect it from dust. And I was very careful when playing with it. Did your favorite toy have a name? And if so, what was it? Yes, her name was Emily. I thought it sounded elegant and fitting for such a pretty doll. Did your favorite toy have a name? And if so, what was it? Yes, her name was Emily. I thought it sounded elegant and fitting for such a pretty doll. Were there any specific outfits or accessories that came with your favorite toy? Absolutely. Emily had a collection of dresses and accessories that I loved dressing her up in. Were there any specific outfits or accessories that came with your favorite toy? Absolutely. Emily had a collection of dresses and accessories that I loved dressing her up in. Did you have any playmates who shared a similar love for dolls? Yes, my best friend and I used to have doll tea parties and pretend adventures with our dolls. Did you have any playmates who shared a similar love for dolls? Yes, my best friend and I used to have doll tea parties and pretend adventures with our dolls. How did your favorite toy inspire your creativity? Playing with Emily sparked my interest in fashion and design. I even started making tiny clothes for her. How did your favorite toy inspire your creativity? Playing with Emily sparked my interest in fashion and design. I even started making tiny clothes for her. Do you have any photos of you playing with your favorite toy? Yes, my mom took pictures of me with Emily during special occasions. They're wonderful memories. Do you have any photos of you playing with your favorite toy? Yes, my mom took pictures of me with Emily during special occasions. They're wonderful memories. Did you ever imagine your favorite toy having a personality or backstory? Definitely. I created a whole imaginary world for Emily. Complete with friends and adventures. Did you ever imagine your favorite toy having a personality or backstory? Definitely. I created a whole imaginary world for Emily. Complete with friends and adventures. If you could pass on your favorite toy to someone special, who would it be? I would pass it on to my future daughter. It holds so much sentimental value, and I'd love for her to experience the joy I had. If you could pass on your favorite toy to someone special, who would it be? I would pass it on to my future daughter. 
it holds so much sentimental value. And I'd love for her to experience the joy I had. Did you ever attend doll themed events or shows with your favorite toy? Yes. My grandmother and I went to a doll collector's fair once. It was fascinating to see so many different dolls and accessories. Did you ever attend doll themed events or shows with your favorite toy? Yes. My grandmother and I went to a doll collector's fair once. It was fascinating to see so many different dolls and accessories. Were there any specific skills or abilities your favorite action figure had? My favorite action figure, Captain Adventure, could fly and had super strength. It made for some epic battles. Were there any specific skills or abilities your favorite action figure had? My favorite action figure, Captain Adventure, could fly and had super strength. It made for some epic battles. Did you ever create a storyline or narrative for your action figures? Absolutely. I had intricate story arcs with villains, allies, and unexpected plot twists. It fueled my imagination. Did you ever create a storyline or narrative for your action figures? Absolutely. I had intricate story arcs with villains, allies, and unexpected plot twists. It fueled my imagination. How did your favorite toy contribute to your social life as a child? It was a great conversation starter. My friends and I would swap stories about our favorite action figures during recess. How did your favorite toy contribute to your social life as a child? It was a great conversation starter. My friends and I would swap stories about our favorite action figures during recess. Were there any accessories or playsets that you wished your favorite toy had? I always wanted a secret base for Captain Adventure. I ended up making one using cardboard boxes and creativity. Were there any accessories or playsets that you wished your favorite toy had? I always wanted a secret base for Captain Adventure. I ended up making one using cardboard boxes and creativity. Did you ever try to recreate scenes from movies or TV shows with your action figures? Absolutely. I'd act out scenes from my favorite superhero movies, adding my own twists to the plot. Did you ever try to recreate scenes from movies or TV shows with your action figures? Absolutely. I'd act out scenes from my favorite superhero movies, adding my own twists to the plot. Did you have a favorite memory related to playing with your action figures? One Christmas, I received a new action figure that became Captain Adventure's sidekick. That was a memorable moment. Did you have a favorite memory related to playing with your action figures? One Christmas. I received a new action figure that became Captain Adventure's sidekick. That was a memorable moment. How did your favorite toy contribute to your problem-solving skills? Playing with action figures required strategic thinking, especially during intense battles. It unknowingly honed my problem-solving abilities. 
How did your favorite toy contribute to your problem-solving skills? Playing with action figures required strategic thinking, especially during intense battles. It unknowingly honed my problem-solving abilities. Did you ever involve your family in your play with action figures? Sometimes, my younger siblings would join in. We'd team up against imaginary foes and have a blast. Did you ever involve your family in your play with action figures? Sometimes, my younger siblings would join in. We'd team up against imaginary foes and have a blast. Did your favorite toy influence any of your career choices or hobbies? While I didn't pursue a career in comics, my love for storytelling definitely influenced my interest in writing. Did your favorite toy influence any of your career choices or hobbies? While I didn't pursue a career in comics, my love for storytelling definitely influenced my interest in writing. If your favorite action figure could talk, what do you think it would say to you now? It would probably thank me for the adventures and tell me it's proud to have been part of my childhood. If your favorite action figure could talk, what do you think it would say to you now? It would probably thank me for the adventures and tell me it's proud to have been part of my childhood. Did you ever attend doll-themed events or shows with your friends? Yes, my friends and I went to a doll exhibition once. It was fascinating to see the diversity in doll designs. Did you ever attend doll-themed events or shows with your friends? Yes, my friends and I went to a doll exhibition once. It was fascinating to see the diversity in doll designs. How did you come up with names for the different outfits your doll wore? I often named them based on the color or style. One of her dresses was called Midnight Elegance because it was dark blue and formal. How did you come up with names for the different outfits your doll wore? I often named them based on the color or style. One of her dresses was called Midnight Elegance because it was dark blue and formal. Did you ever try to create new accessories or outfits for your doll? Absolutely. I enjoyed sewing tiny clothes for her and crafting accessories like miniature jewelry. Did you ever try to create new accessories or outfits for your doll? Absolutely. I enjoyed sewing tiny clothes for her and crafting accessories like miniature jewelry. Were there any rituals or routines you had while playing with your favorite doll? I used to have a little tea party set up, complete with a tiny table and cups. It became a regular part of our playtime. Were there any rituals or routines you had while playing with your favorite doll? I used to have a little tea party set up, complete with a tiny table and cups. It became a regular part of our playtime. Did your favorite toy serve as a source of comfort during challenging times? Yes. Playing with my doll provided a sense of solace and distraction during tough moments. It was a form of therapeutic play. Did your favorite toy serve as a source of comfort during challenging times? 
Yes. Playing with my doll provided a sense of solace and distraction during tough moments. It was a form of therapeutic play. How did your favorite toy influence your taste in fashion as you grew older? It definitely sparked an interest in fashion. I find myself drawn to elegant and vintage styles, much like the dresses I imagined for my doll. How did your favorite toy influence your taste in fashion as you grew older? It definitely sparked an interest in fashion. I find myself drawn to elegant and vintage styles, much like the dresses I imagined for my doll. Did you ever receive any doll-themed gifts from friends or family? Yes. My aunt gave me a beautiful display case for my doll. It added a touch of sophistication to her collection. Did you ever receive any doll-themed gifts from friends or family? Yes. My aunt gave me a beautiful display case for my doll. It added a touch of sophistication to her collection. Were there any specific adventures or stories you created for your doll? One of my favorite storylines involved my doll going on a magical journey to a faraway land. It was a mix of fantasy and adventure. Were there any specific adventures or stories you created for your doll? One of my favorite storylines involved my doll going on a magical journey to a faraway land. It was a mix of fantasy and adventure. How did your favorite toy contribute to your creativity outside of playtime? Playing with my doll sparked a love for arts and crafts, inspiring me to explore other creative outlets. How did your favorite toy contribute to your creativity outside of playtime? Playing with my doll sparked a love for arts and crafts, inspiring me to explore other creative outlets. If your favorite doll could magically come to life for a day, what would you do together? I'd take her on a nostalgic journey, revisiting places from my childhood. We'd relive those magical moments together. If your favorite doll could magically come to life for a day, what would you do together? I'd take her on a nostalgic journey, revisiting places from my childhood. We'd relive those magical moments together. Did you ever incorporate your action figures into other activities or hobbies? Yes. I used to set up elaborate scenes with my action figures and then draw comic strips based on those adventures. Did you ever incorporate your action figures into other activities or hobbies? Yes. I used to set up elaborate scenes with my action figures and then draw comic strips based on those adventures. Were there any specific challenges or missions you created for your action figures? Definitely. I loved creating missions that required Captain Adventure to use his wit and superpowers to save the day. Were there any specific challenges or missions you created for your action figures? Definitely. I loved creating missions that required Captain Adventure to use his wit and superpowers to save the day. How did your favorite toy reflect your personality as a child? I think it showcased my adventurous and imaginative side. I was always eager to explore new worlds, 
even if they were imaginary. How did your favorite toy reflect your personality as a child? I think it showcased my adventurous and imaginative side. I was always eager to explore new worlds, even if they were imaginary. Did you ever introduce new characters to your action figure collection? Yes. I'd occasionally get new action figures as gifts, and they would join Captain Adventure in his quest for justice. Did you ever introduce new characters to your action figure collection? Yes. I'd occasionally get new action figures as gifts, and they would join Captain Adventure in his quest for justice. Did your favorite toy influence the types of movies or TV shows you enjoyed? Absolutely. I was drawn to anything with superheroes and epic battles. The love for action figures extended into my entertainment choices. Did your favorite toy influence the types of movies or TV shows you enjoyed? Absolutely. I was drawn to anything with superheroes and epic battles. The love for action figures extended into my entertainment choices. How did your friends react when they saw your action figure collection? Most of my friends had their own collections, so we often traded figures and combined them for epic crossover adventures. How did your friends react when they saw your action figure collection? Most of my friends had their own collections, so we often traded figures and combined them for epic crossover adventures. Were there any specific locations or settings where your action figure adventures took place? I had a special cardboard cityscape where most of the action unfolded. It had buildings, streets, and secret hideouts for the heroes. Were there any specific locations or settings where your action figure adventures took place? I had a special cardboard cityscape where most of the action unfolded. It had buildings, streets, and secret hideouts for the heroes. Did your favorite toy serve as a source of inspiration for any creative projects? Absolutely. It inspired me to write short stories and draw comics. I even made a makeshift comic book featuring Captain Adventure. Did your favorite toy serve as a source of inspiration for any creative projects? Absolutely. It inspired me to write short stories and draw comics. I even made a makeshift comic book featuring Captain Adventure. How did your taste in toys evolve as you grew older? As I got older, I started getting into more complex action figures and models. The love for storytelling and creativity persisted. How did your taste in toys evolve as you grew older? As I got older, I started getting into more complex action figures and models. The love for storytelling and creativity persisted. If you could design your own action figure today, what features would it have? It would have advanced articulation, customizable accessories, and a feature that allows it to interact with a digital platform or game. If you could design your own action figure today, what features would it have? It would have advanced articulation, customizable accessories, 
and a feature that allows it to interact with a digital platform or game. Did you ever organize fashion shows or photo shoots for your doll? Yes. I used to create makeshift runways and take photos of my doll in different outfits. It was like having my own mini fashion magazine. Did you ever organize fashion shows or photo shoots for your doll? Yes. I used to create makeshift runways and take photos of my doll in different outfits. It was like having my own mini fashion magazine. Were there any specific themes or eras you explored with your doll's wardrobe? I enjoyed exploring various styles, from vintage looks inspired by old Hollywood to modern and trendy outfits. Were there any specific themes or eras you explored with your doll's wardrobe? I enjoyed exploring various styles, from vintage looks inspired by old Hollywood to modern and trendy outfits. How did your doll become a part of family traditions or celebrations? During holidays, my doll often played a special role in decorating our home. She became a festive centerpiece in many family celebrations. How did your doll become a part of family traditions or celebrations? During holidays, my doll often played a special role in decorating our home. She became a festive centerpiece in many family celebrations. Did you ever introduce your doll to other forms of creative expression, like drawing or writing? Yes. I used to draw sketches of my doll in different outfits and even wrote short stories about her adventures. Did you ever introduce your doll to other forms of creative expression, like drawing or writing? Yes. I used to draw sketches of my doll in different outfits and even wrote short stories about her adventures. Did your favorite toy influence your choice of friends or social activities? It didn't directly influence my choice of friends, but it did create a common interest for me to share with others who loved dolls too. Did your favorite toy influence your choice of friends or social activities? It didn't directly influence my choice of friends, but it did create a common interest for me to share with others who loved dolls too. How did your doll contribute to your sense of responsibility and care? Taking care of my doll taught me about responsibility and the importance of preserving special belongings. It was like having a tiny companion to care for. How did your doll contribute to your sense of responsibility and care? Taking care of my doll taught me about responsibility and the importance of preserving special belongings. It was like having a tiny companion to care for. Were there any specific hairstyles or accessories you enjoyed experimenting with for your doll? Absolutely. I loved trying out different hairstyles and creating unique accessories like tiny jewelry and handcrafted purses. Were there any specific hairstyles or accessories you enjoyed experimenting with for your doll? Absolutely. I loved trying out different hairstyles and creating unique accessories, like tiny jewelry and handcrafted purses. Did your doll ever have a signature look that you always loved to dress her in? 
Yes. She had a classic red dress that I adored. It became her signature look for many special occasions in my imaginative world. Did your doll ever have a signature look that you always loved to dress her in? Yes. She had a classic red dress that I adored. It became her signature look for many special occasions in my imaginative world. How did your favorite toy impact your perception of beauty and style? It taught me that beauty comes in many forms, and style is a wonderful way to express individuality. My doll had her own unique charm. How did your favorite toy impact your perception of beauty and style? It taught me that beauty comes in many forms, and style is a wonderful way to express individuality. My doll had her own unique charm.